What up, guys? This is Chivo Guides, back here again with another achievement guide. Today, we're going to be focusing on Rattivity Lab. This game is published by Weakfish Studio, and it was developed by Light Ape Games. This game is an easy 15 to 25 minute completion or platinum trophy, and on top of that, the game's only $4.99. Again, you can get the game done as quick as about 15 minutes if you know all of the solutions. However, I do think you might need a couple tries on some of these levels. So honestly, I think the average person's probably going to take an extra couple minutes, probably about 20 to 30 minutes to get the full 1000G or platinum trophy. Now, if you guys are interested in picking up the game, again, it's only $4.99, and I'll have a link down in the description below, as always. Now, the achievements or trophies in this game are fairly straightforward. Pretty much all we gotta do is complete the game, all 20 levels. Assuming that you can complete all 20 levels, you should have yourself a very easy 1000G or Platinum Trophy. Now, let's take a moment to talk about how to play the game. Again, there's 20 levels in total. Most of these achievements are related to level progression, and to solve a level, you simply need to make it to the exit. To do this, we're going to need to solve the puzzles in each level. We can do this by moving around the blocks and using our magnet mechanics. Different types of blocks have different effects. In the first few levels, it does teach you how to play. Just know that every time you collect cheese, it's going to charge up your meter on the upper left-hand corner. That meter represents how many times you could shoot your weapon, which is your cheese. Now, every time you shoot your cheese at a block, it's going to activate it. So you could either activate a block by shooting it with a cheese, or you can jump on top of that block and press Y, and that's going to activate the block beneath you. Now, in most of these levels, we're going to be moving around the blocks and connecting them to each other using these magnet mechanics. Some of the levels can get pretty tricky. I'm definitely not going to be commentating through this whole video, although I will get you guys some timestamps and chapters for each level. I am going to jump back in with some commentary on levels 17 and 20 because personally I thought those were the hardest and I do think that for those levels some extra commentary may help you guys. So I'll jump back in with some commentary on levels 17 and 20. Aside from that just make sure that you guys follow along with the footage to solve each of the 20 levels. Again if you're having trouble with any specific level you can refer down to the timestamps or chapters below. But as always I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.
Alright guys, as I promised, I wanted to jump in with some commentary for levels 17 and 20. So, first thing you want to do is shoot both of these blocks right here. You want to want to move the magnet so that you can jump up and get this cheese. After that, jump back on the magnet box and then jump to the left. Go down and activate the jump box. Jump off the jump box, jump up here, and activate this block. Wait until it's done activating, jump on this ledge. Try not to push this block against the wall activate it again jump down and activate that block and they should end up connecting like that assuming you did it correctly hopefully it lined up and you can push it down you want to push down that end block right there and that will give you an opportunity to jump from these blocks onto this ledge once you get through here what we need to do is go ahead and push this block just a little bit about right there once you get that right there we're going to move the jump box just a little bit to the left after that, try to jump on top of it and activate it, and then we need to activate the one below it. Now, if all goes well, they should connect together, top and bottom. Once you have these blocks stacked on top of each other, you want to move them to the right. It may get stuck a little bit, just keep jumping on top and walking into it, and eventually it should fall down. From here, all we got to do is move these blocks to the right, jump on top of them to the exit.
Alright guys, only one level left. As promised, I wanted to include some commentary for you guys for this level. What you want to do is shoot one of the blocks to the left. Make sure that you get in the middle of these blocks right here. That way they do not touch each other. We're going to go ahead and get in between these blocks and do the same thing. After that, you should have three blocks on the floor right here. We're going to go ahead and activate that one all the way on the left and then activate the one by the door, and we'll be able to complete this level nice and easy, unlocking our final achievements, giving us that full 1000G out of 1000G. Let's just go ahead and double check. Yup, we got that full 1000. As always, I'd like to give a huge thank you to all of my Patreon subscribers. We just hit 12 patrons. I'd like to give a special shout out to everybody in the biggest fan club, including TimG84, Kegger101, Kana25, GamerTagNation.com, and RockMono44. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment, and don't forget to like and subscribe.